Hey guys, welcome back to my drawing channel. So today I have decided to draw a quick sketch while waiting for my oil paintings to dry. I am currently working on four oil painting portraits simultaneously. I will upload it to YouTube, so subscribe to the channel so that you guys get my notification. So this paper here is a little bit dirty. You can see here, there is a tiny black spot. And this one here here. So rather than throwing the paper away, I've decided to apply a very thin coat of gesso to make it white again. Okay, so the paper is gesso. I only applied it on the dirty spot rather than the whole paper. It's fully dry and actually I have one more surprise. So in this drawing, I want to draw using mostly a graphite powder. So before I do the drawing, I will do some practice first. So this is not a tutorial guys. The title is how I draw using graphite powder. Don't blame me, it's not how to guys. This is my first time attempting a drawing using graphite powder. It may fail, so please excuse me if I look like a noob here. So when I'm about to do something new, I usually try it first on a different paper. So this is the paper, and since I don't have graphite powder, I'll make it on my own. So this is the sandpaper. This is number 100. It's quite rough. This is the sandpaper I usually use to sharpen my pencils. Okay, so the pencil, let's see, I have... FB, and then... 5B, 4B, this is 6B, 3B, 4H. I'm not going to try it all, just the darkest, middle, and the lightest. And then I'm going to apply it using a brush. Okay, so I'll practice on this paper here. Let's see if I can produce a smooth, even result with this. Okay, so let's try my darkest value, 8th B. Just rub it like this to create the powder. I just need a small amount, so no need to go crazy here. Okay, that's good. Now let's try applying it using my brush. Well, this brush here looks rather small. I don't like using a big brush. When I want to go big, I usually use my cotton. Hmm, interesting. I definitely can produce a smooth dark tone with this. This looks dark to me. And if that's not enough, I can always strengthen it using pencil. Now let's try 4P. See if I can make a lighter tone with this. When you are trying something new, always try every possibility you can think of, guys. This is definitely looks lighter, guys. Okay. Let's try 4H. There is something interesting going on here. This is darker than I thought it would be. Let's try if I can join this one and this one, creating a nice gradual value.
Hmm, this looks promising. This looks smooth enough. Now let's find out how it performs with knitted eraser. Okay. As expected, the dark value is a little bit harder to erase, rather than this one. I think I have to be careful with my dark value here. Let's try using Tombow Mono Zero. Looks fine to me. Oh, one skin. This is harder to erase. Let's try one more time. Yeah, definitely this is harder. Let's try whether I can. Yeah, let's try whether I can overlap this value using my AFP. Yeah, very well. Okay guys, I think I'm ready. I don't know whether I will succeed or not, but let's do it anyway. Okay guys, and this is a quick sketch. So honestly, I'm still not confident enough guys. So I start from the background. I want to know if I can make an interesting shapes, and after the background is done, then I will move to the face area. So if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share, and comment down below. Okay guys, so this is the background, looks promising, so I left this area white. This is where I want to draw the head, right in the center.
Well, well, I think I'm done here. So this is my quick sketch, guys. Took me like seven minutes, which obviously I'm joking. <laughs> no, guys, it took me eight hours. It's still a lot faster than I used to be. So yeah, this is a quick sketch. So now let's continue the oil painting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thank you and bye for now.